What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have an unboxing video for you. Two things, this blue shirt makes this film look a whole lot more yellow tinted, which is like old school Nerdy Noob videos, which is crazy. And secondly, I got my facial hair under control yesterday. Eyebrows on fleek. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the 2016-18 Ludicu box. I think I've been saying that wrong, but I don't know how else to say it So I'm just gonna keep calling it the Ludicu box. If you're interested in getting this box I'll go and put all of the pricing details in the description below Once you get the tape and you open up the box This is what you're gonna see Ow. How's it look? It looks scary. <laughs> oh jeez I don't know what's the theme to this box. It looks like some kind of anime. You know, I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of anime just because I never got into it, but I actually really enjoy getting anime stuff in these boxes only because I know so many of you guys are into anime and I know that I could put more anime stuff together for you when I start making boxes, so I get excited about that. And I'm so good at pronouncing anime names that it just makes sense that I should receive so much anime stuff. All right, the first item that we got is a Dragon Ball Z Dramatic Showcase. And this is of Goku. Unless this is some kind of spawning thing with some other person and then they have a weird name. Let's see. Should we open it? I'll open this to show you guys. I don't want to open this because when I give it to you guys I want it to be new. But let me just show you. It comes packaged like this. So there's the base. There's the actual figure. And then here's his arms. So this is actually very detailed. Just We got one of these last month and it was just like this. Like very detailed, good color. Yeah, I like this. This is very nice. I, I don't know where these figures come from, but they're very good quality figures. The next item that we got is a Funko Pop. This is from Shonen Jump Naruto and we got Sasuke. I don't watch a show, but I was I follow some people on Twitter and somebody put something about somebody dying and then it had a hashtag Naruto, so hopefully that wasn't a spoiler alert for anybody. But I and I don't even know what it's for. Um, but these are the ones that you can get in the collection. Right there. There you go. The next time that we got is Prince. How did you guys say I had to say his name? Vegeta. 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 I was calling him Vegeta, but I'm pretty sure you guys said it's Vegeta or something. <laughs> I don't know. This is one of those little mini figures. You can get these at a lot of like at the Japanese snack stores. They have a lot of these sort of things. So there you go. Vegeta, I think his name is. Oh, this guy's a little creepy. Um, the next time we got is this guy and it says jeans freak. I don't know. I'm not going to open this, but this is another figure. Um, very similar, actually same company that makes the one I just showed you of, of Goku. So it's going to look the exact same, but this is what it's going to be like. This is the guy. So it's going to be some guy who isn't wearing a sh like an undershirt and he's wearing jean shorts and flip-flops. Jeans freak. Ooh, is this a letter opener? Next, we have this mini sword. I don't know if you can see. So it's a mini sword right here and it has the sword cover. Um, I, I wanna say that this is probably a letter opener. This is so heavy duty. It's not sharp, so I'm gonna say that it's probably a letter opener. It does come with a stand and a base right here. Oh, this is from One Piece. I don't, let's see if you can see this. It says One Piece right there. This is cool. This is, I like the, um, I just like the quality of it. This is metal. This is metal. It's just good quality. It's very heavy duty. I've said duty like four times and every time I say it, I snicker in my head. Duties. <laughs> Next, we got a Naruto product. 
we got this thing. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a headband, right? It's a headband with this metal thing on it. Is it upside down? I don't, I don't know what direction it's supposed to be in. Oh, this is kind of neat. I guess if you're like, no, I think that's the right way, yeah? Let me see if I can do one of these poses. You can't see me because the camera's not big enough. This guy's like this. <laughs> um, so this is a headband and it has this metal, it has a metal like plaque on the front which is from Naruto because the picture of these guys, they all have the same headband with the metal thing on the forehead. Uh, this is neat. This is probably really great for if you're doing cosplay or something like that. That could definitely come in handy. And then the last time that we have is Random Damage. It's a Ludico original and it's a comic book. This is what it looks like. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what this is about, but I like the the graphics in it. Like I, these, it looks, I'm sure it's not fun, but it looks like fun characters, like little things that you can't see their face. Oh, now you can see his face. Oh, hey. You know, there's no like guns in here. I bet you I could bring this to work and I'm excited about it. So that was all the items in the box. The theme this month is a uh, loot table. Ultimate crossover, Ludicu one year anniversary. So it's one year for them. Oh, there was one more item. Sorry, I forgot this thing. So this was the uh, first item that I didn't open yet. I thought it was a shirt, but obviously it's not. This is a flag. This is actually a really nice quality flag, and the reason I say this is because on the corners, they put like, I don't know if this is real leather, it's probably pleather, but they have that with the rings, which makes this flag, it just makes it easier to hang if you're going to hang it. And I'm not going to lie, I cheated and looked at this because it was in my lap, and this is from One Piece. Okay, now let's do pricing and recap. The first item that you could have received is our Dragon Ball Z Epic lineup figure. Now there's like a million different ones that you can get. They have basically it's between Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks. So let me show you a picture of all the ones that you could have received. Sorry, they're very small pictures but here's every all of them and then it has a list of all. I'm not going to read them because they're all different ones but at the end of the day, I like these figures only because I like how detailed they are. You do have to be careful though because Goku's hair is very spiky and it's actually, you probably hurt somebody with that. Like if someone's breaking into your house, you probably like, you know. So looking this up online, there's a bunch of different prices, um, but the actual like buy it now prices, they range anywhere. The cheapest is Amazon, it's $21 and then on eBay it's about $25. So I'm going to go ahead and give this $21 since it's Amazon Prime. The next item that we got is our One Piece Epic figure lineup. So it's the same company, but it's, um, but it's, is this from, oh, so this is from One One Piece, this guy with the jean shorts. You could have gotten a lot of different ones, like, I don't know which one this is, but Sanji, Zoro, Ace, Luffy, and Law. And here's a picture of those ones. It's this picture. I don't know if you can see that. So those are all the different ones that you could have received. All right, so this guy online, it looks like the prices are ranging anywhere from $20 to $25. Kind of same thing as the Dragon Ball Z. This guy was a little bit harder to find than the Goku one. So I'll give this one $21 as well. We just do the same pricing for that. Um, for both of these, you might be able to give it a few more. Well, this one was actually on Amazon Prime. So, but this one you might be able to give a few more dollars if you wanted to. The next item that we got is our Dragon Ball Z World Collectible Figure Epic Lineup. You could have either gotten Vegeta, Super Scions, uh, Z Soldiers, Super WCF. I don't know what I don't know what these people are. Something about Battle, the Scions, Memorial Parade. I think I got Vegeta. Is this Vegeta? Oh, I think I. Yeah, this is Vegeta. It says on the box. So these are the ones that you could have received. right there. So I'd say that this thing, this thing online is going for anywhere from $15 to $20. Ugh, 
That seems so high for these things, but I'm not that surprised. I'm gonna stick with the lower end of that, which is $15, and I still think that's way overpriced. But maybe you can get some value, you can take some value from that and then put it to the other things. All right, then we got our Naruto Funko Pop. You could have either gotten um, Naruto or Sasuke. Oh, Naruto has the little headband thing. Uh, I'm going to give that $10. This flag is actually going on Amazon for $17. I would say that's probably about the thing. You could probably get it, like, a little bit cheaper if you want to try to get, like, not, more, not a knockoff one, but more of a not-so-great one. So let's do $17 for that. We have our one-piece sword with stand. I thought this was a letter opener, but maybe it's just like a replica sword that they have. I have no idea how much this sword is worth or what, like where they even got this. I'd probably give this thing like, I want to say like $10 seems, I don't know if that's a bit high. It's really nice, but online I would say it's going more for like 5 to 8 So let's do 7 for this. I actually think that's kind of low. Let's give it 8 Let's give it one more dollar. I think I would, this is actually really nice with the, um, with the stand and everything. And then we had our Naruto forehead headband. They have a lot of these online. I'm going to go ahead and give this $5. Um, it's actually, I actually kind of like that thing a lot. And then this comic book, which I'm actually excited about, I'm just going to go ahead and give this, I'm going to give this, what do comic books usually get? $2.99 or, let's do $2.99 because this is in-house. They made this, so we'll do three. Okay. Oh, did I price things really high this month? I think I might have priced things really high. According to my pricing, this box is worth $100. Now, when you get a one-month subscription to this box, it costs um, 60, oh, like $67. That's including shipping. This month, we got $33 extra value on top of what we paid for, which is actually decent for, for a $67 box, which is kind of expensive. Um, $33 is pretty good. Yeah, that's about... That's about right at the lower end of the value, um, but this is better than previous months. So I don't know if I just priced things a little higher. I did research some of the items because you know I don't have any idea. If you like anime, I can imagine that this specifically if you like Dragon Ball Z or One Piece, because most of that stuff, most of the stuff came from those two shows, and then Naruto. Sorry. So if you like those three shows, which I feel like those are pretty mainstream anime, then I feel like you would love this box. And because the value is actually pretty decent, it's not too bad. Um, let me show you, let's see, they always do a thing. So for those of you who are just kind of interested, they give you a really nice card and they just, they give you descriptions on like the shows and everything just in case you don't really know about them, which is cool. Um, like it tells you what the forehead protectors are usually worn as. It's a sign of pride and fealty for one's village. Yeah, so it just kind of gives you like like this, the pirate. It says the Straw Hat Pirates are a pirate crew that originated from the East Blue but have various members from different areas. They are the main focus and protagonist of the anime and main manga, 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 one piece. So it kind of gives you like different um, tidbits about each item and then they also give you their own values. So let's see what their value was. So I said the value was a hundred. I didn't even think to look at this value when I was pricing the items which probably would have been easier. So it says the Dragon Ball figure could have been anywhere from 30 to 35 dollars. I gave it 21 so I gave it a little bit less. The One Piece figure um, was worth 25 to 35 dollars. Again I gave that one 21 dollars as well. The Dragon Ball Z figures were 12 to 15 dollars. I gave that 10. The Naruto Funko Pop, oh, so that was, oh, I'm sorry, what did I give this one? No, I gave this one 15, so I gave that on the higher end of what they valued this as. The Naruto Funko Pop, I gave 10, which is the same price. The One Piece flag, oh, they gave the flag 8 to $10, and I gave it 17 because on Amazon it was 17 so I overpriced the, the flag. The One Piece sword keychain was $8. I don't remember how much I gave it. I think I gave it $7, but I added a dollar, so I gave it $8. Oh, okay, so that was the same price. The Naruto forehead protector was $5 to $9, and I gave that, what did I give that? $5. I gave it $5. And then the comic is valued as free. It says the value is $4, and I gave that $3. So actually, my pricing's not too bad, not too shabby. I'm pretty excited about that. If I had to rate this box, um, this is actually, I really enjoyed this month's box. I wish I liked anime better than I do or more than I do, but I actually love all of the figures. Like, 
I don't feel like they gave us, the only filler item was maybe this comic, which I'm actually quite excited about. And so I'm pretty excited about the quality and the types of items that came in here. We literally got three full-size figures, one small figure, and then these are like the side things, which are actually really cool. And then you get the flag. So I actually really enjoy this box. If I had to rate this box in a perspective, in a perspective of just the types of items and value, I would probably give this box a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. I think that the only thing that could be a little bit better is, again, just the value because for a $67 box, I would probably, in theory, want at least $40 value, I would say. Uh, $40 extra value because I usually want at least $10. Actually, that's not true. I want $10 for 30 So actually, you know, you know what? The value is pretty good. So I would probably say maybe 4 point, I don't know, 4.5 for just me who doesn't really like anime. And then I would say you could give it maybe a little bit higher if you like anime, maybe 4.75. I still think it could have done a teeny bit better value, but it's not too bad actually. Because for $30 boxes, you want $15. So that would be $30 and a little bit more. So not terrible. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Out of all the, like, out of the animes that they showcased, do you think that they did a good job? Because, like, I know one of the complaints with the Loot Crate anime box was that it was all over the place. Like, they would give you animes from all different, like, series and stuff, and people were like, I don't even like that anime. I feel like they use more mainstream animes with this box, and I feel like it will connect more with people who like anime because it's, you know, the main the main animes. Um, but yeah, if you're an anime fan, let me know what you guys thought about this box specifically because I feel like this is for you guys. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Talk to you guys later. Bye!